Hi everyone, my name is Martin and today I'm gonna show you how to create this kind of manipulation something like mysterious foggy manipulation so in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to turn your day image into dark mysterious image and of course whole process how I create this manipulation it looks really simple and lately I didn't have so much idea because I'm pretty busy so I'm thinking about upload more photo effects and photo retouch uh, tutorials but we'll see and the beginning to create this uh, manipulation we need only two images well maybe three if you want to add some other uh, elements the first image is uh, just a forest as you can see it's very nice i like this image so i decided to use this one image of course the link is that link is in the description and the other image is Fistock from DeviantArt of course link in the description and at first we need to prepare our background so at first we need to turn this image into mysterious dark uh, image so at first I use hue saturation because I need to take some saturation uh, from this image maybe about 30 uh, it's not too much but it's okay and also lightness maybe about minus 15 but it's not necessary for me maybe even minus 10 and the second step is brightness and contrast because we need to take almost all the brightness from the from the image I'm not sure if I put brightness on minus 150 I think it can be too strong so I put brightness on minus 100 I think it's alright and also the same with contrast contrast as at 100 maybe the brightness I don't wanna uh, too dark this image so maybe brightness minus 18 it's alright So right, it looks really nice. Maybe it's a little too darker, but don't worry, you can fix it later. Um, it's not a huge problem. We lost some details. We lost some details from the image. If it's uh, too dark, you can of course also change the opacity on this image. I put about 8% right now, because as I said, it's it looks too strong for me right now. Maybe I take also saturation about 45 because it's too colorful and then go to our model image uh, we need to of course cut this image from the background as always I use pen tool and by clicking I select the image and then layer via copy to copy my model from the background so so I already do this so it's not necessary to do that if you don't know how to cut uh, your image from the background, check my other tutorials uh, and it should be alright. This image is too large, I need to check the image size. Height is 1800, so it's definitely too large this image. maybe like this I think like this it uh, it looks much better right now of course we need to take uh, some saturation from this image so press ctrl or command on make and click on this layer go to hue saturation of course and I don't know maybe minus 40 minus 50 is all right minus 50 So okay, now it's time for uh, some other nice effects. I think also we can add other image. Maybe this one. So right now I use pen tool to cut this because I don't do this before if 
first made selection to fix this to right and that line we are copy copy this part and it's not so good to right I shouldn't use eraser tool it's not so good way right? And now it should be okay. Put this right here. So right now uh, we cannot uh, actually we can use Dutch and Burn tool. So create new layer, go to Edit Fill, and use fifty percent gray, and to create this uh, layer in a visible change. Change blend mode for the layer to overlay. As you see, it's right now invisible. So, at first I use touch tool, but uh, my my brush is uh, too large. Exposure I have at thirty percent and range mid tones. Alright, right now, burn tool to increase the shadows. Sorry if I'm talking too fast and sorry if I'm doing this tutorial too fast, but I hope it's all understandable for you. So take a look right now. It's a little difference, it's, uh, it's better right now for me. So next step is create a nice foggy effect to create this create new layer select one color black and one one color white go to filter render and select clouds this clouds isn't perfect as you see so how to fix this we can use blur and gaussian blur to make it uh, more blur for example and maybe also we can use a uh, motion blur maybe but i'm not sure right now take a look yeah i think it's a good idea to use also motion blur and right now change blend mode to soft light so if it's uh, not enough for you you can use uh, some brushes to create a fog for example you can find some brushes on the DeviantArt I put the link in the description also if you want so check brush and uh, click brush tool click the small icon and when you download your brushes uh, from the website for example this just click load to load your brushes and again i'll check the other one that's all right and right now we have some nice fog brushes take a look i create new layer and something like this it to look it looks really nice for me. I do this again. I'm not sure right now what I want. I need to try a few because it's improvisation right now. Maybe this one. Maybe this one uh, looks really nice. Also, check the others. I think the first one looks much better so right now it's too strong for me so I need to change opacity about 70 and okay we're almost done so right now it's time to add some
color effects and things like that. We can also use uh, some lines. I mean, we can also add some light. I have some uh, I have some light brushes here. Take a look. It works really nice on this image, I think. So take a look. And all right, maybe it's a little too strong, so I change opacity to 18. Uh, but for me, it looks really nice. But right now, this image is uh, too too bright for me. Uh, I'm not sure how to explain that. But take a look and add some color effects. For example, I use photo filter and add some dark blue color works uh, quite okay on this image and also we can add gradient map, gradient map works perfect uh, as always but it can be a little destructive so Take a look, I try with color blue for the shadows and some warm, bit warmer color for lights. It looks really nice right now. Actually, I don't need this photo filter. This uh, gradient map works really perfect on this image. Take a look. So I can give you a code for color blue is 5464A2 right here. And for the other color, the code is 9FEF9F. So it looks really nice with uh, this gradient map. Take a look how it works with overlay overlay is too strong for me and you probably agree with me and one we can add uh, at the end also i think we can try with curves to add some contrast if it's uh, too soft for example but not too much be careful because we don't want to destroy this image maybe like this it gives me this nice yellowish color so guys for me it's done of course you can add more effects if you want but i don't think it's necessary for me it looks really nice and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Of course if you have any questions or any ideas or whatever you want to say, leave a comment. So thank you for watching and see you in the next Photoshop tutorial.